What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to the next episode of Final Fantasy Online. Do not forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and share the video if you can. We have made it, we're making our way to the supposed headquarters of the survivors. So the quest is called the Last Bastion. Basti Bastion. So let's speak with Julius Maculus. Julius knows only too well that danger lurks around every corner. Uh, which reminds me, I'm actually paranoid that I'm actually recording the video for this. Wait, I am. That's fine. That's all good. Whew! Tension over. From here, we'll be headed northeast, keeping to the left of the railway. While the route itself is straightforward, getting past the hordes unseen is anything but. Keep your weapons at the ready. They would attack their own countrymen? A. They spared their own but slaughtered the rest without hesitation. Though we'll try to avoid detection, the chances of sneaking by completely unnoticed are slim at best. I will lead the way, but in the event we are seen, you are to fight them off. Those two will follow us, provided they can refrain from drawing their weapons. While I doubt they will be foolish enough to stab their guide in the back, I will not take the chance. With that said, let us proceed. Wait, I need to move this around because I'm not covering the thing. Dang, Judas, cut some slack, bruh. Time to run from zombies. This is costless, I don't know why. There you go. Hopefully I can get a little heal back. Nope, missed it. I see why your comrades chose you. Julius, our contingent has a cure for the afflicted, or tempered as we call them. Your people would need to be taken into custody that we may administer the treatment, but they would eventually regain their sanity. Is that so? For all, I, uh, for all I know, your treatment would simply force them to forsake one master for another. As far as I and my legion are concerned, they are no longer our people. They're beyond saving. Those who thought differently and tried to reason with them were butchered for their bleeding hearts. Come. We have to keep moving. Oh, look at that. It's like, a oh, it's like, it's a train line. Sort of. That's, tr oh. Dang. Very interesting uh, place. Too bad I can't do a sneak attack from here. Yes, I'm clicking. It's because I'm having a drink. Oh, what the? Why aren't these guys doing anything? Why am I the only one fighting? Oh yeah, I think they said that he's scared that the kids are gonna stab him in the back or something. What a jerk. Said, I might be able to get some health back now as well as some more MP. Oh, I just realized Soul Eater doesn't give me MP. It should give me MP and HP. That would be pretty good. Let's 
Looks like we're not being followed. We will continue onward. I wonder if there is any gold in these carriages. We can rob the train. Wait, what happened there? Oh. It's quick. I meant what I said. These people deserve only death. Julius, you idiot. Just give us a chance, man. Let's just kill those two guys. We could save them. I stayed my hand before only... Before. Only out of desire to remain undiscovered. And that is still the higher priority. We should continue to avoid any unnecessary confrontations. Keep following, following the railway. Bruh. Oh, whatever happened to that kingdom? I think that's what it's called. The Korean something zombie show on Netflix. That was such a good show. I can't believe they like didn't show the rest. Still waiting for season three. It was so good. I was... Now, I don't watch zombie shows, but I really enjoy that show. What the heck is that? Is that a player? Yeah, it looks like. I was wondering why he looks that silly. Whoa! Okay, those guys are messed up. Wait. Check it out. What the frick is going on there? Those are some monstrosities indeed. But I don't think they are tempered. I think that's, there's something else. Oh no, they are tempered Imperials. So that's how they would end up basically. At the end. If they're not careful. That guy's hurt at me. I don't know if... Uh, I might have killed his family at some point. That would be very... That would be mega awkward. If that is the case. Look at what they have become. Would you still stand there and claim that they can be cured? You would be surprised. Those exposed to a vast quantity of a primal's ether may suffer severe corruption. Even with treatment, such victims are beyond salvation. Then you admit it. Now that you have seen these monstrosities for yourself, perhaps you will think twice before speaking of a cure. Yeah, whatever, mate. We can still save some of them. Noob. Wait, why can't I use this thing? Oh, I think it's like underground. Underground railway station. That's pretty epic, actually. Almost there. You have kept your side of the agreement, so I will keep mine this way. Man, can you imagine how cold it would be to be in like a snowy area and it starts raining? This is Ter Tertium, one of Garlemont's largest stations. It now serves as our headquarters. I've already sent the twins ahead. I will be with you soon. So wait for me at the bottom of the stairs. Oh, those are some huge stairs. Oh, what's this? Oh, 
she clearly has no intention of speaking with you. Sounds familiar. It is plain to see why they chose this as their base of operations. They could, they could have done a lot worse. Even so, I imagine it's not the easiest place to live. Indeed. And if Julius was willing to make the perilous journey to Camp Broken Glass in search for food, their own supplies must be all but exhausted. They may be shielded from the wind and snow, but it's still bitterly cold. Much like Victor's spoils, it must be a constant struggle to keep their people warm. Lower your voices. While you may be here as my guests, the others will not take kindly to your presence. My commander is in the lo locomotive over there. This reminds me of that game. Uh, oh, I can't remember. There's a sequel to it called 2019. It's like... It's like the apocalypse and you're in Russia. And the people live in railway wagons. Ah! Oh, it's like a reference to that. I can't remember. Hello, Spy Spurious. Nobody wants to talk to me. That's not very nice. You know, whenever I get into train carriages and games, I just keep thinking of Resident Evil. Yeah, nobody wants to talk to me. Yeah, I'm in the wrong carriage, it seems. What's that? Ooh, a lookout. Check it out, boy. To. Okay, Vista Record. Tertium is the third station along the rail network which serves the Imperial capital of Garlemald. Equipped as a dispatch yard with generators and other facilities, it was taken over and fortified by the remnants of the First Legion following the city's fall into ruination. Ruination, that's an interesting word. I don't think that gets used much. I'll use the Etherite. Tell you what though, this looks like a nice place. Not responding, why is that? These are their chosen representatives. Very well. Let us hear what they have to say. Yes, sir. I present to you our commander, Lord Quintus Van Keener, Legatus of the First Legion. The First? I had no idea you had survived. We lost our emperor, our city, more than half our troops. For my wounds, I may never take the field again. But we survived, I. In a manner much to your liking, I dare say.
We have no intention of adding to your misfortunes, nor do we bear you any ill will. Spare me, though you children may speak in earnest. Overtures of peace ever ring hollow in my ears. So long as man stands to profit from his neighbor's suffering, war is inevitable. driven from our ancestral homeland into this blasted waste. Yet still you yearned to rob us of our paltry scraps. It was only with Magitek that you learned to keep your distance. Though we knew it was only a matter of time before you regrouped and returned. Conquest and Empire were our only defenses. Emperors Solus and Varys understood this and through their campaigns saw us grow and prosper. Much blood has been spilled in Garlemald's name, aye. But if it is a choice between yours and mine, then it is hardly a choice at all. I do not deny that a great many conflicts throughout history were driven by the desire or necessity to gain by another's loss. That is not why we are here. Nor have we come to petition your aid in the war with the Telophoroi, grave though that threat may be. Our purpose is simply this. We wish to help you. Let us help you. If there is aught that can be done to ease your plight, we would be glad to do it. Perhaps you would. But regardless of the ideals you espouse, your leaders would not send an army into Garlemald if they did not stand to benefit. If we accept their aid, they will expect their efforts to be rewarded once the Telophoroi are no longer a threat. And after compensation and concessions, the great empire would be brought to heel. Her enemies rejoice at her downfall. Our third eye, a mark of shame. We won't stand idly by and let your people be humiliated. And we're not alone in that. We only want to make a difference, to make this world of ours better. Surely you can understand that. What I'm trying to say is, there are so so many people who just don't care about making you suffer. And maybe that's almost insulting after all the suffering you feel the world has subjected your people to, but... Believe it or not, that's the truth. And now we're here, and all we're asking is for you to tell us what you want, what you hope for. So much blood has been shed. So much lost, all because of this endless war. Who wouldn't want to end it? Can we not work together to face our problems as one? Answer me this, young peacemakers. If a world without conflict is your desire, why reject the unity and prosperity of Garlemald? Is it because we do not share your faith? That we do not share your heritage? That our ideals and virtues differ? That we cherish and hold in the highest that which you do not. Disparity is the root of discord, and peace built on compromise is flawed and fleeting. Happiness for one and all is a dream, and the reality is that to the victor go the spoils. That is why we Garlians will never submit nor surrender. For freedom and for pride, we will remain true to ourselves until the bitter end. That is my hope. Mm. 
It seems there is nothing more to say on the matter. You will remain here while I decide what is to be done with you. Do not be alarmed. No harm will come to you, if you cooperate. We will not resist. However, as your guests, I ask that we be allowed to speak with the other members of your group. As you wish. I had no intention of locking you up, as by dawn you would be frozen stiff and you're no good to me dead. You are free to move about the encampment, but there is one condition. Collar them. What are these? Incentive. You'll be watched at all times. Stray too far or act suspiciously, and we will administer a rather painful shock. Stop. Keep away from that one. The champion of Eorzea is not so easily cowed. Even if he allowed himself to be collared, the shock would be no more than an itch. No, if he refuses to obey, we will activate the twins' restraints instead. You needn't worry about us. We'll forget we're even wearing them soon enough. Even now, you still... <sighs> Why go to such lengths? What is it all for? On the coldest, blackest of nights, meager though it may be, we must share the warmth of our fire. a curious one. A far cry from the merciless barbarian others paint you to be. You will be their warden. Take them away. Yes, sir. Right, guys don't forget to hit that subscription button and i'll see you next time on final fantasy online